Hello everyone, this is Colin. In this video, I will explain what is single mode fiber. So let's get started. Before going further, you should know the typical structure of a single mode fiber. The left illustration shows that single mode fiber has a core with a diameter 8 micrometer, a cladding with a diameter 125 micron, and a buffer with a diameter 250 micron. The core and the cladding are made of fused silica a type of glass, and the buffer is typically acrylic. The right illustration shows how a glass fiber guides light. Light enters into the core and is guided along the fiber. What is a single mode fiber exactly? This picture shows a simplified light ray explanation. The top two fibers are multimode fibers. Multimode fibers can have a core diameter ranging from 50 microns to 200 microns or even more. The typical light ray explanation is that the core size is large enough so that multiple light rays can enter into the core at different angles and are guided along the fiber. Here, different light rays at different angles are called different fiber modes. Since multimode fibers can guide many modes, that is why they are called multimode fiber. On the other hand, the bottom fiber is a single mode fiber. The typical light ray explanation is that the core is so tiny that only one light ray which is perpendicular at the core interface can enter into the core and is guided. Since there is only one mode, that is why it is called single mode fiber. But actually, the theory is not so simple. When it comes to single mode fiber, light ray theory is not enough to explain it. So here, you see fiber mode calculation based on waveguide theory. I will not go into the detail of the calculation process. Here is a result of the calculation. V number is a key parameter that describes the mode structure of octopole fiber. The left graph shows a V number. V number determines the number of electromagnetic modes in the fiber. From this graph, we can see that when V number is smaller than 2.405, as shown by the red dashed line, there is only one mode, called LP01 mode, can be guided by the fiber. This is called a single mode fiber. When V number is larger than 2.405, several modes can be guided by the fiber. The higher the V number, the larger the number of modes. This is called multimode fiber. V number is calculated based on the fiber's structure and the light wavelength, as shown at the bottom formula. In this formula, A is the radius of the fiber core, lambda is the light wavelength, N1 is the refractive index of the fiber core, and N2 is the refractive index of the fiber cladding. Buffer layer is there for mechanical protection of the fiber and is not involved in the calculation. The previous slide shows only the calculation result. If you want to see the calculation in detail, you can go to the URL listed below. Fiber Optics for Sale company offers many free training tutorials at foforsale.com. Check it out today. I will see you in the next video.